Hey guys! Today's video is one that I am really really excited for and one that I have been excited for ever since I started this channel. Like literally, I've been excited for this for months. I have watched so many of these. As you guys probably know by the other Trader Joe's haul that I posted, I love Trader Joe's. Like I love Trader Joe's. So I have, you know, been stalking a lot of the Instagram accounts. I've heard a lot about all the different fall products. I was super excited to go and try them for myself and I finally got a chance to go today and I spent a lot of money. But it wasn't just me. As you'll see, I got a lot and my sister also got a lot of stuff and we ended up spending under $200, which, you know, is still like a lot for groceries but for the amount that we got you will see like it was really good so that's another thing i love about trader joe's i got a lot of different exciting like fall products although i was really disappointed trader joe's kind of failed me a little bit today because a lot of the products that i was like really really wanting to try they didn't have they didn't have the pumpkin hold the cones which is like so upsetting for me i was literally so mad and the pumpkin brioche they also didn't have and literally i was talking to my mom about how mad i was that they didn't have it and then a worker heard and was like oh is there something i can help you with and like they were so nice but they just didn't have it. That was definitely a bummer, but I still got a lot of other fun stuff. You know, I always try to say everything happens for a reason. Maybe them not having all the stuff that I wanted happened so that I could get other stuff that I didn't necessarily want, but then I'm gonna love, you know? I guess we will find out. I did get a lot of things that were either new but not fall related or just not new at all, and I just like got them. I only go there like once a month so i just had to get some things i'm not gonna show everything like i got some produce and stuff let's be honest nobody is watching my fall taste test to see me talk about brussels sprouts so i'm not gonna be showing those but i'm gonna show like most of what i got i'm gonna start off with the frozen stuff because it's in here and like melting and yeah sadly the frozen stuff does not include the pumpkin hold the cones I'm so upset, you guys. The first thing we got was not like a fall item, but I think it's relatively new. I honestly, like I'd seen this around and I thought they looked good, but I was never really planning on getting them, but my sister wanted to try them, so I was like, well. These are the mac and cheese bites. I have one in the oven right now, and I will show you guys when I try it. I think they look pretty, pretty good, pretty interesting. I was never really a huge cheese person, and I actually hadn't tried mac and cheese until my friends forced me to like a couple of months ago but ever since then like i have really been into mac and cheese so i'm thinking that i'll probably like these next up is these pumpkin empanadas i hope i said that right i'm so sorry if i didn't when i heard like empanadas i assumed that like it would have meat in it like i assumed it would be like a savory pumpkin thing but it's apparently not like apparently it's more of like a sweet Thing. I did ask you guys for recommendations and a couple of you guys told me these are really good and I was planning on getting them anyways So I'm gonna give it a try. So excited. I feel like like it smells so good Like I wish you guys could smell this because it literally smells so good That was my stomach growling Oh my god, it's hot you guys Um Okay, they are really good. I really like the crust, like the outside. The inside, I feel like it's not very flavorful. Like it kind of just tastes like straight up pumpkin. It's not very sweet to me, but that might just be because I really like sweet things. If you want like a nice like pumpkin, like treat i guess but you're not like a super sweet person i think this would be perfect for you but if you're expecting it to be like super sweet and taste like pumpkin pie then but these are still really good like i will definitely still eat them don't get me wrong i also got some cauliflower gnocchi and tempura cauliflower i didn't bring them up here those are like my two staples that i always go for that was my excuse for going today but i knew what i was really going for the last thing i got from the freezer section because they didn't have any hold the cones or pumpkin ice cream. My Trader Joe's is kind of lacking, it seems. But I got some vegetable pad thai. I've heard good things about this. When I get back from gymnastics, sometimes I just really think how convenient it would be to have like an easy like frozen meal. So I just bought this to try it out, see how it is. I have a few more refrigerated things that I'm not going to like test out right now. I got three kinds of ravioli. I almost bought four because I really wanted to try the cauliflower one, but I had to use some self-restraint. I got the butternut squash ravioli, the caprice ravioli, and the honey roasted pumpkin ravioli. I think this is the one I'm most excited about just because it sounds so interesting and I feel like it'll be good. So We'll see. I'll keep you guys updated, but yeah, I'm not gonna like cook ravioli right now. I got this veggie wrap with hummus. This is another one of my staple things. These wraps are amazing. If you haven't tried these, especially if you're a vegetarian or vegan, but even if you're not, like this is still so good. And you wouldn't think it would be that good because it's just vegetables and hummus, but no. 
it is amazing. Next, I have some pumpkin butter. I'm not trying this because I get it every year, so I know that it's good. It's not like my favorite thing ever, but you know, it's just something that I always get because it is good. I definitely recommend it for like a good spread. You can put on like pretty much anything. This I'm excited about. They had the pumpkin rolls. Yeah, I'm pretty excited about these. I love cinnamon rolls, but I never have them. I've never tried making them. Even like from a container, I've never tried making them. Okay, I think I've accidentally had them like once at my friend's house. So I'm excited to try pumpkin ones. I think it'll be super good. And I know like a lot of people love these. Get my mac and cheese bites. I think this is the last thing I got in terms of like refrigerated stuff. This is like a produce item, but I thought I'd show you guys because it's kind of fun. I got this baby cauliflower. Some places call it collini. It's so good. I think it's like a little hybrid thing between like broccolini and cauliflower. Maybe not, but that's what it seems like to me. I'm also not going to be trying these pumpkin jojos just because I've had them before and I just had to get some more. Well, I already opened the box. You can see I tried them when I got home. But yeah, I've had these before and they are super, super good. I would definitely recommend them. I think I like them better than pumpkin Oreos, but I don't really remember exactly how pumpkin Oreos taste or if those even exist. And I'm just maybe making them up. I don't know. Moving on to the snacks, which you know is my favorite part. I really went a little overboard. This is where all the money went. I was not planning on getting any of this because I've heard super mixed reviews, but since they were out of so many other things, they were out of the pumpkin pop tarts, which I was so excited to try. I decided to just try some of this. This maple and sea salt kettle corn. I've heard some people say it just tastes like popcorn, and I've heard some people who are like, I ate the whole bag in 10 minutes. So we are gonna see what I personally think of it. Okay, I can see both sides. I can definitely understand people saying like, it just tastes like popcorn or like it just tastes like kettle corn because it definitely does but it does have a maple flavor so i would say this is pretty good it's maybe not like my favorite thing i've ever had from there but it's pretty good i mean it's pretty much what i expected i guess more maple would be nice but i it does have a decent amount like it doesn't just taste like normal kettle corn next up we have this pumpkin pancake and waffle mix i'm not gonna be trying this either but you will definitely be hearing about it on my instagram so obviously i'm not just gonna like spoon the dry mix into my mouth or anything i wasn't gonna get any of this at first because i was like i can just make pumpkin pancakes myself but someone on instagram i'm pretty sure was eating with Kay. i'll like put her account right here she is so sweet and her food looks like so good so definitely check her out anyways she posted about this stuff and she was like you guys have to get this and so i was like okay well i trust your opinion so i bought it okay my mac and cheese bite is probably cool enough by now so i'm gonna give it a try when i took it out of the oven the first thing that i thought was that it kind of smells like I don't know if you guys ever had like a day like during school where you guys had like a Thanksgiving lunch and they would serve you like these like mashed potatoes and like I don't know they were like popcorn chicken or something and it was supposed to be like a Thanksgiving feast I don't even know that's what this smells like to me I don't know if that's good or bad but I mean it smells good it just brought back some memories and I guess we'll just give it a try this was a good purchase I was not expecting to like love it but this is probably one of my favorite products I've tried, actually. It has, like, mac and cheese on the- I mean, obviously, that's what it's called. I don't even know what I'm talking about. Basically, what I'm trying to say is it's really good and you should buy it. Next, I got the maple almonds. These were another thing I kind of debated on getting. I kind of heard mixed reviews, but I decided to try them out. The worst case scenario is that they don't taste like maple and they just taste like almonds. And in that case, I love almonds, so it's really not a lot. I really like those. I think that, um... There definitely is like a strong maple flavor. It's not like overly strong for sure, but like it's there. I remember like watching Ashley Wicca's video and they said that the maple flavor went away really fast, which is kind of true. I mean, we might have just had different experiences, but in my experience, it did kind of go away fast, but it was like still there, if that makes sense. It just was like really slight. The next thing that I got was this caramel apple granola, which I am so excited about. So fun story about this. I've seen this a couple years now and in every other year I've been scared to have it because of like the sugar content and stuff. But now like sugar isn't even really like a thing for me at all. And so I'm just really happy that I can finally try this caramel apple granola. I love caramel apples. And so I'm really hoping that this tastes like caramel apples and I love granola. Okay. It's very like clustery, but it's like kind of thin, if that makes sense. It's kind of skinny. Anyways, let's just give it a try. I'm definitely getting like the caramel apple. I felt like it would be kind of hard for them to convey like the caramel apple and a granola, you know what I mean? And I was like, okay, this 
might not actually taste like caramel apple. I think it does. It reminds me of like those caramel apple lollipops that you'll get on Halloween. You know what I'm talking about? If you never got those, I'm so sorry because those honestly are underrated. But these are very interesting. I actually saw these last night and I was like, okay, I have to add these to my list because like I need to try these in my video. I just have no idea what this would taste like. These are organic dark chocolate covered whole cocoa beans that is a mouthful you guys but i'm interested i feel like this would be really bitter but i don't know maybe this will be good these are also vegan for all my vegans out there hmm, okay they are very bitter not very bitter but they're definitely bitter if you are someone who likes your chocolate really sweet and does not like bitter chocolate like you will hate these but I really like dark chocolate, so I think these are really good. I could easily eat like a whole bag of those. If you like like 80 plus percent dark chocolate, I would say these are like a good find for you. I'm so awkward. Definitely better than I was expecting. I was expecting them to be kind of gross. The next thing I got that I will not be trying because these are just one of my staples is these Go Macro Bars. My favorite flavor is the peanut butter chocolate chip. Actually, this is my second favorite. My first favorite is like the peanut butter chip chocolate chip one you know what i'm talking about that's my favorite but they don't have it here so i just bought this which is the second best the next thing i got was okay these might be like completely shattered because we were in the car and the bag just completely spilled everywhere and we had strawberries in the bag and they were like all over the floor just kind of a mess and these like slammed on the ground but these are the pumpkin spice batons i thought it was gonna be kind of like pocky but pumpkin but they don't really look like pocky now that like i look at them but i guess we'll just see okay kind of confused how to open this um if you didn't know this about me i'm really bad at opening things and i think it's because i have no muscle like at all if you didn't know that also about me people say that i am built like a paper clip and I agree. A few moments later. Okay guys, I think we're almost there. Ooh, ooh, there's like more packaging that I have to open. Also, sorry if you see me like looking like up here a lot. It's because I have a new like external monitor and I'm just getting used to like not looking in it all the time. These remind me of something, but I don't know what, but I think that they have a little filling in them. I can't really tell. They're like hollow, but I think they might be a little bit filled. It's definitely not like Pocky. Let's see about these. Whoa. Oh my goodness. That is so much better than I expected. Like, not that I was expecting them to be bad, but I was expecting them to be like, okay, like, yeah, these are good, but, you know, might not buy them again. Girl, I will buy these 10 times over again. Like, not a 10 out of 10, because that's like hard to achieve. That's like tempera cauliflower status, but like, these are like a 9.8. These are very good buy those buy those so they don't get discontinued and so i can have them again next year next we have something that i think could be very hit or miss we have mango jalapeno fruit snacks i really like the mango like jalapeno like spicy mango combination so i'm hoping that these are good i mostly bought them because i was like well no matter whether they're good or bad these will definitely be interesting i haven't heard too much about them so i guess i will be you guys a source on if they're good or not if you should buy them also just so you guys know these do not have gelatin i wouldn't have bought them if they did because i'm vegetarian so for all my vegetarians and vegans out there they are safe um okay so they're definitely like a little weird they're oh Oh my gosh, I just realized they're shaped like little jalapenos. They're more of like the texture of like fruit leather than like fruit snacks. Like if you think of like Welch's fruit snacks, they're like not that. So anyways, these are definitely good. However, these are not good if you have a low spice tolerance. My spice tolerance, I would say, is pretty decent. I mean, obviously I'm a little white, so it's not gonna be like amazing but i would say that i have a good spice tolerance for a white person they're definitely not too spicy for me but like they definitely do have a kick like i was expecting them to just have a little kick but like they definitely have one if you are a spicy person then those are super good i mean they're kind of weird but like they are really good next up i got these overnight oats these are another thing that is not like a fall thing but they're new you might be thinking like why not just make your own overnight oats are you really that lazy i mean yes first of all but I also just wanted to try these. I've heard they're really good. I'm expecting these to be pretty good and I'll let you guys know. Obviously not gonna try them right now. Next, I have a little combination for you guys. I got the pumpkin bagels and the maple butter. I'm gonna like just tear off a little piece of one, I guess. I'm gonna have it with this maple butter. I think it's very cool how they got maple syrup to get to this 
point somehow. And I'm excited to see how this is. So we're like kind of, well, you're not supposed to say killing two birds with one stone. I don't encourage animal cruelty, but um, I don't really know what you would say, but you know what I'm trying to say here. Well, I would say both of those are good. You know, the pumpkin bagels, they taste like a pumpkin bagel. Pretty good. I love bagels, so definitely a win for me. The maple butter, I really think like it would be good on, I know I've seen people putting it on toast, like oatmeal, you know, anything really. I mean, even if you just want to eat this out of the jar, when you think about it, that's kind of like drinking straight up maple syrup, but just don't think about it like that. I would definitely buy this again. Like I can understand the hype about this. Okay, we're down to our last few items and I saved the ones that I'm most excited about for last. These were kind of a last minute decision, but I was like, okay, these just look actually so good. Like I just could not, I could not pass it up. I think these will be good because I love biscotti, I love cornbread. I heard someone say these were bad, but I don't know. I didn't believe it. I need to see for myself. Looks pretty good, guys. And my bed is never gonna recover from these crumbs, but. Okay, listen. Whoever said that was bad, um, everyone is entitled to their opinion, but some opinions are wrong. For all, it tastes pretty good. I mean, it didn't taste like a ton like cornbread. It honestly tasted more like those, um, you know those like cheap sugar cookies you buy in like the bakery section of Walmart? Not like the frosted ones, but just like the plain like sugar cookies. It kind of tasted like that, but it's really good. Next, we have pumpkin spice cookies. Oh, petite pumpkin spice cookies, excuse me. I know Trader Joe's has like a ton of like different cookie options for the fall. These were the ones that I decided to get because I've heard so many good things about this. People say that they taste like the frosted animal crackers, but pumpkin. And I literally love frosted animal crackers. I have two bags in my pantry at all times. They're a staple food for me. You know, some people are like, oh, those are like my childhood. Like those are my right now. Okay. I love those. These I'm hoping will live up to my expectations. These come in white and orange, just like the frosted animal crackers come in white and pink and they have sprinkles. They do look really similar. I definitely can see what people are saying. They don't taste quite like the frosted animal cookies. Like that's not really what I would first think of but they do taste really really good like i could definitely go through a whole box of these in one day they definitely do have a strong pumpkin flavor which i wasn't really expecting so that's always good